I'm Kyohiro. Uh, the United States Japan relations are consisting of a broad range of cooperation from politics to economy to military. When we look at the military cooperation, the United States Japan alliance has played a major role in maintaining security in East Asia uh, for more than 50 years. And it is equally important for both the United States and Japan, even now, with possible threats like uh, rising China and nuclear North Korea in this region. However, uh, the Kutema problem, the biggest problem facing us right now, may endanger the whole alliance. What is the Kutema problem? As you probably know, Kutema is the name of a place in Okinawa Islands, Japan, where the United States Marine Corps Air Station is located very close to the residential area. This problem has a little bit complicated problem. Uh, first of all, since the Bush administration, the United States has been trying to realign the global military basing strategy as a part of a military transformation to tackle the 21st century type threat. As for the realignment of the United States forces in Japan, in May 2006, the United States and Japan developed a roadmap uh, including concrete time schedules. Uh, according to this roadmap, the Kutema Air Station was supposed to be located in a new site, Henoko, by 2014. Uh, however, last year, a political earthquake took place in Japan as an outcome of general election. The Democratic Party of Japan uh, took control of the government uh, with the long-term ruling party, LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party, becoming the opposition party. The DPJ, uh, during the campaign, the DPJ and its leader, Yukio Hatoyama, had publicly stated its commitment to re-examining Futema relocation. So, presently, uh, the DPJ is examining alternatives uh, which maintain Japan's national security and at the same time uh, meet the criteria it promised to Japanese electorates. Moreover, uh, while the United States is demanding that the DPJ carry out the previous agreement, the Social Democratic Party, with which uh, the DPJ made coalition, is strongly against this idea. Therefore, for the DPJ, this is almost a um, mission impossible. This is a summary of the United States-Japan relations. It is true that the United States-Japan alliance is a cornerstone on which we have to establish a broad cooperation system to address issues like nuclear proliferation, uh, international terrorism, and uh, pandemic prevention. However, the FEMA problem isn't likely to be solved anytime soon without political and military damage. Um, in addition, the notion of equality relationship of the United States and Japan proposed by the DPJ throughout the majority of Japanese. So it is nothing but only an uh, unsubstantial and vague illusion. Uh, taking these things into consideration, we can assert that uh, the US-Japan relationship will deteriorate. But the Japanese people are smart 
enough to understand that uh, our national security is totally dependent on United States forces in Japan. So, we you know we can't do without the United States at least right now. Nevertheless, I'm not sure about the future. Oh, and this is all for my part. Thank you.